G'day ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Draw with Jazza. I'm Jazza and this is the Artist Showcase Series where you guys send me your artwork on Newgrounds.com and I uh, feature 10 a week and one of them is picked to be put on the front page of Newgrounds. Now I will preface uh, just so you guys know that the showcases are getting quite condensed. There's a lot of entries getting sent in and uh, not only can I not feature all of them in the video, but now it's getting to the point where I can't feature all of the entries in the Tumblr page because the text with the links uh, is getting just over the top. It ends up being a wall of links. So I'm actually going to have to uh, be a little more picky as well with the images that I link to there. So I'm sorry some of, some of you from now on are going to get left out. Now don't be too discouraged because there's always a chance to get in and always you know work hard and, and improve and I always do notice people who consistently send in work and do make marked improvement and often that's that results in a showcase as well. So make sure to keep yourself encouraged and work hard but I'm really sorry that I won't be able to feature everyone just because it's outgrown its previous format, I can't really keep up with the rate that things have been sent in. Now getting into the showcase, our first entry is by artist Leaky Duck and it's called To Those I've Let Down. And this is a piece which is a bit of a melancholy piece where he's kind of venting, uh, I suppose you could call it artist block, um, where, you know, lack of creativity or lack of ability to bring out the things that he's wanted to bring out. He describes it in the author's comments as a bit of a downer piece, but I actually think it's a really clever uh, form of expression and I love pieces that use art for just that, for expression. Because at the end of the day, our art is our craft and uh, when we use it to, uh, aside from create cool things, when we use it to emotionally kind of vent, it's a pretty powerful thing and it's really nice to see this person uh, using that feeling that he's got and creating a piece with that. He talks about how the characters surrounding him are ideas for comics or characters that he hasn't be able, been able to bring to fruition and it all surrounds in a very technically well executed but also emotionally acute, well done picture. So thank you for sharing that with us. Our next piece is by artist Orgrin and it's called Monk and this artist has made some fantastic improvement. Now I have featured this person in the past uh, quite a while ago and uh, and that was based on you know their marked improvement as well and it's still happening and there are a few things about this picture that just really stand out very, very much to me. Uh, first of all, the composition is incredible. So there's this really great drawing of the eye to exactly where it needs to be. The way the clouds are lit and painted is fantastic. The foreshortening of the whip, it looks like a bit of a whip, sort of a chained thing, uh, is really good. And the painting style and technique of the main character itself is very well done. We've got the uh, rim lighting, very nice stylistic, uh, cloudy, but um, interesting sort of painting style on the character. Nice and detailed, but also a very rough human feel. It's very well done, great job. Next piece by artist Urando2606 is called Elizabeth, and this is another one which shows marked improvement in the artist's technique and style and abilities. It's very well done. In my opinion, their best work so far. There are several features to this painting style that stand out, uh, the main one being the softness of the images, a very, very delicate looking image which matches the feminine qualities of the, the figure itself. And then there are also some really nice areas of detail, in particular the eyes, uh, some areas of the hair, but the overall image is extremely well composed. I love the soft feel of it. It's very well done. Thank you for sharing. Next piece by artist Shalon is called Bioconvergence, and it's a bit of a mechanical looking creature. It's like this weird mix of a, of a monster and a robot, and I really like how it comes together. Stylistically interesting. It's got some good effects on it, like the glows and the splats. Uh, the, the background is somewhat uninteresting in the sense that there's just kind of a texture and then a flame overlay and it's a bit flat, so it doesn't necessarily complement the image, but the, the character itself is very well painted and well presented. Next piece by artist Bad Rabbit is called Bubbly Woods. Uh, this artist has a good painting style and in this image it seems less painted, more composed. Uh, I get the feeling that there's a lot of textures and pre-made things that have been combined, but the way that it's kind of been composed into something of a narrative image uh, is quite effective and I like the, uh, the use of darks in the foregrounds and then the misty background. I like the uh, contrast and uh, differences in colours, how we have the really rich plasma Sort of electricity blue in the middle and then we have the desaturated jungle and the the browns and earthy colors the greens of the jungle around it so it's a really nice uh, contrast a good symmetrical composition overall well done thank you for sharing 
Next piece by artist Economic Recon is called Fire vs. Water. It's a well illustrated image, it's got some nice line work in here and, and as you can see it's got two themes, we've got the fire and the water, both of which are communicated very well, uh, in particular through the shading and the textures. I like uh, the orange and red deep hues of the, the wolf in the fire and then the way we have the backlight and the uh, the yellow of the fire behind him and how it all kind of mixes to create that that atmosphere and then we have the water as well which is similarly shaded but in a way that conveys that sort of cold that sort of wet feel so uh, the colors the textures and the composition all complement the theme of this image which has been well presented so great job the next piece is by artist Gavin Valentine and it's called giant robot and this is a piece that somewhat to me feels like a bit of a concept image which I love I personally have a bit of a soft place in my heart for concept images I loved you know watching movies as a kid and kind of looking up the concept images that they had and this looks uh, reminiscent of that sort of style to me so it's got a very hand touched sort of feel there are some really rough areas of the image and then really detailed and refined conceptually strong in other areas of the image that need to communicate that so it's quite cool i like the build of the robot the sense of scale because we have the character in the bottom left which is contrasted with the size of the robot and it's also very uh, well merging together so we've got the soft cold blues of the front of the image which seems to indicate a difference like there's a shadow kind of towards us the viewer but then we have the bright desert sort of desaturated whites and and oranges and and yellows of the of the background and they mix both in the robot itself so very well done the next piece is by Agent Spy Monkey and it's called Tron vs Sark and it's a pretty self-explanatory image, it's a Tron themed image. One of the first things that captures me about this image is the asymmetrical composition and the immediate feeling of action and uh, intensity. There's uh, an imminence of motion and impact here because we have a character leaping and then another character ready to turn and defend. Uh, it's like we're in the middle of the battle and we're watching it taking place so it's very well done and it tells a story. Great Great work, thank you for sharing. Our next piece is by artist Art Dungeon and it's called Ambushed and it has a very strong painted sort of feel. It's massively high resolution so if you check out the original image when you zoom in it's massive uh, but the painting style is quite rough and it's in the sense that it's rough when you're close and then when you're far away it's got that really nice illustrated sort of feel and I really like pieces that can pull that off well to have that really hand touched feel to add style uh, and you know kind of a a really nice aesthetic whereas at a distance it holds itself very strong and this is an image that does that extremely well fantastic work thank you for sharing and our final piece and feature of the week is by Declan Hart 93 and it's called flying explorers and when talking about rough but when close uh, and detailed and amazing when far away this image is just a prime example of that it's astounding so when you zoom in close up to the image you can really see all of the scribble lines and all of the really rough paint strokes that kind of really roughly add the textures and that you know we have the lines of the water we have the rough brush strokes and hard edges uh, and contrasts of the landscape itself then the characters as well which have kind of a lot of line to them and it's a very painterly styled sort of image but when you see the whole thing uh, put together at a distance it's extremely well done very very well representative of the scene that they're trying to create wonderful use of colors and shading and lighting everything just holds itself fantastically it has the mixed feeling of both a conceptual design sort of image and also a finished piece that you could you know frame and, and uh, print on canvas on a massive piece and you know feature in an art hall it's, it's a very well executed and inspirational image well deserving of the front page spot Thank you all for joining me for this week's Artist Showcase and for sending me your entries. Once again, I apologise that I won't be able to fit them all in from now on. Uh, and I also do need to let you know that there's a delay. So every piece shown here was probably sent to me close to a month ago, uh, simply because there's that much of a build up with all these things sent to me. So uh, hopefully I'll be able to catch up over time, but there's kind of that expected delay. So I hope you understand that when you finish a piece and send it to me, it'll roughly be a month if it gets in the showcase. Anyways, that's it for this week week's artist showcase thanks for joining me and until next time ladies and gentlemen i will see you later do you want a chance for your artwork to be featured in the next showcase video upload your artwork to the art portal on newgrounds.com send me a link to your artwork by going to jazza.newgrounds.com and click send a private message make sure to include the word showcase in capital letters in the message title and give me a link to your piece of art Please be considerate of my time by submitting no more than one image per week to the Artist Showcase and make sure it's on newgrounds.com.
Thanks for checking out this week's showcase. I look forward to seeing your art in the future.